Hi guys! This is your teacher Malu Abispo and welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification para updated kayo sa susunod nating written works at performance tasks. At kung may tanong kayo, just comment down below. Good morning, grade 10, grade 10 Moab, Nazareth, and Macedonia. Menu is the one of the most important internal advertising tools that can be used to educate a customer about the experience they are about to have. Through the menu, customers are kept informed of what dishes are available in the restaurant and the price per dish. Today's lesson was taken from our textbook from pages 315 to 317. Today's objective is to identify the basic types of menu and discuss its features. Menu is a detailed list of foods and beverages offered to a customer from which they choose they need. And planning a menu is a thought-provoking task. So we need to have aids that will help us in planning the menu. And they are at least 10. The first one is you have to make a food plan for the family. You need to consider the composition of the family, especially their age, kung mayroon tayong babies or toddlers, kung mayroon tayong senior citizen, at ano naman yung mga diet restrictions nila. We also need to consider the menu pattern acceptable for the family, the list of family's favorite dishes, or you can also ask Ideas from them, yung experiences nila from dining out with friends. You may also use a list of the family's favorite dishes, a record book of current food prices from different markets, a table of foods in season. Meron tayong tinatawag na seasonability of fruits and vegetables. So pwede natin i-consider kung ano yung mas maraming supply sa market within today or within the week at yun ang isasama natin sa menu. We also have file of favorite and tested recipes, the favorite cookbook of the family, purchasing guides, and a variety of food magazines or publications featuring food dishes. Clipping of new ideas can be also used and Aside from that, you can also ask suggestions from the members of the family. Sa food service operations naman, ang nagde-determine ng menu ay binubuo ng PPDT. Ito yung tinatawag nating Professional Planning and Development Team. So, menu can be planned by a team of professionals working cooperatively. Regardless of the nature or size of the team, each member has certain tasks and areas of responsibilities. The owner or his representative is the central figure in the team, since basically all major decisions must be approved by him or her. The consultant has a special knowledge and skills in managing a food service operation. The need to think creatively outside the box V, be familiar with recent activities, but be very focused. Has a general knowledge of architecture, engineering, and interior design. Be knowledgeable about the recent trends in food service design. In other words, yung menu sa food circulation is considered as the most important planning control tool to run a food service operations kasi yung menu it determines the employee qualifications so pag na, na produce na natin yung menu saka tayo magpo-formulate ng mga qualifications or specifications ng iha-hire natin na employees 
Tools and equipment to be purchased can also be determined after planning the menu. And of course, the design and layout of the food service operation can also be considered when planning the menu. The menu style and design reflects the restaurant personality and the customers who frequent it. It can be a creative way to market a food service and it is the main way a food service communicates with its customers. Menus can be presented using the following. It can be written on a chalkboard or a menu board can be prepared. It can also be presented using a card such as tall and skinny, mini booklet, fan, or square. It can also be presented on a piece of paper in a folder for casual or formal. And of course, it can be presented on a website for web ordering and deliveries. Basically, there are two types of menu. We have the table dough and the a la carte. Table dot is a French term which means table of the host. And a la carte is also a French term which means from the menu card. Table dot is a set menu and it is suitable for small to medium sized functions. So other terms used for table dots are prefix which means it is a fixed menu that carries a fixed price. It can also be used interchangeably with set menu or a set meal. A la carte offers a free and greater choice of food items from the card or menu of a restaurant which are individually priced. So this is a very popular type of menu. It offers wide choices in food and beverages within each course and in categories. Every item in this menu comes with a short narration underneath that explains the dish. So in other words, pag sinabi natin na a la carte, yung customer have a variety of choices. Marami silang pagpipilian at ang bawat item na pipiliin nila ay may individual na price. Whereas sa table dot naman, menu has limited choices and the customer has to pay the whole amount of a set course if you skip some items. So, examples of table dot are the following. We have the set menu. So, when we say set menu, a set menu has been predetermined usually by the host of the function or event. When presented with a set menu, the customer does not have a choice in what is available. This type of menu also has a set price and is suitable for large functions and events. So example, invited ka sa isang event or sa isang function, ang nag-decide kung ano ang menu na i-offer yung nag-invite sa iyo. So wala kang choice. And then we also have the function menu. Medyo similar itong function menu at saka yung tinatawag natin sa set menu. A function menu consists of two to three courses chosen by the host for the event. So merong specific na event katulad ng birthday o kaya naman wedding o kaya naman may seminar or workshop or any other business functions. The host pays a set price per head and the number of guests and amount of ingredients required are known in advance, making planning and preparation easy. So ito din yung ginagamit ng mga caterer. So kung meron kang event na ikaw ay nagpa-cater, meron tayong advance booking, meron tayong reservation at tayo ay pipirma ng catering contract. Moving on to buffet menu, this is a popular option in establishments such as hotels, restaurants, pubs, and clubs where a number of guests look for good food and value for money. All food is prepared and elaborately displayed on tables where guests help themselves. Buffet may be used for breakfast, 
lunch and dinner menus, but it is also suitable for the service of canapes and appetizer. So, ang kategory ng buffet menu is table dot because menus are limited and it is offered at a predetermined price. What is a cyclic menu or cycle menu? This type of menu is suitable for establishments where regular customers are served. So, yung captive yung client. Halimbawa, yung mga doctors and nurses sa isang cafeteria ng hospital kumakain o kaya naman yung mga uh, prisons sa loob ng institutional food service o kaya naman sa isang boarding house na may isang cafeteria o kaya naman ay pwede rin sa isang school or colleges. This menu will last for a certain period of time, let's say from 7 to 28 days, and are designed to avoid repetition in the diet of the people being served. Health and nutrition play a factor when plating a cycle menu. Static menu is the most common type of menu that remains unchanged for a long period of time. These menus are laminated for easy cleaning and reuse or printed on the wall. So, ang mga gumagamit nito, yung mga uh, quick service restaurant, yung mga fast food restaurant, chains, diners, and others. Do your menu means of the day. So, they are also called chalkboard menus because they are sometimes written on one. The menus change daily and are focused on seasonal ingredients, preparing the freshest food possible. While some restaurants offer daily special, every item on a du jour menu is special. So pag sinabi nating soup of the day, hindi yan yung soup kahapon or bukas. So available lang yan within the day. So the jour menu means the menu of the day. So to summarize, pag sinabi natin table doth menu, ito yung menu na kapag isinerve sa iyo ay mayroon siyang fixed price. So ang examples nito, para mas maintindihan nyo, ito yung prefix, set menu, set meal, function menu, banquet menu, or yung tinatawag natin sa buffet menu, cycle or static. Pag sinabi naman natin na a la carte menu, ang bawat item na o-orderin mo ay merong iba't ibang prices. So, ano ba yung examples ng a la carte menu? Pwede nating tawaging a la carte yung breakfast menu, lunch, dinner, or ethnic. Ethnic menu offers menu items that are representative of a particular cuisine from a particular region or country. Pwede ring a la carte. A la carte din, a la carte din ang tawag natin sa room service menu. Guests usually order items from the room service through guest room telephone. Wine service menu, dessert menu, and the jour menu are also uh, under a la carte menu. So this is your Teacher Manu Obispo saying thank you for listening, stay safe, and may God bless us all.